one. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Kasha Goldman. This is Goldman Cave, and this is a guard's tale. So, um, hi everybody. How are hey. you? Hey. What's up? What's up? Um, so uh, we this is our season finale. Um, because at the end of the year, we're going to take a few weeks break. Um, just have a relaxing time around Christmas season and holiday season, etc. Um, and then we're going to come back at the start of the year, all fresh, revived, to kill off... Ca Wait, no, no, um, um, to keep playing this amazing game. Yes, exactly Party's that. Christmas present. Yeah. Kill off some characters and PCs. No, that's my birthday present. That's why we're doing the end of oh, days right. show on my birthday, where we're going to most likely have a redemption to kill off a character. Any character, yeah. you pick. Yeah, hopefully when we come back, the art will be done. Yes, yes. Nice. Um, there, there's been ongoing issues with the art. Sorry, um, the yeah. artist has been is moving state and is trying to get them rushed before moving and also trying to get a moving, trying to get it done before Christmas. But I don't know if that's going to happen. There's a lot of dramas this year. It's not just this year, but I always have dramas with artists. Um, Chibi, I'm sorry, but yeah, <laughs> it's always a thing around here. You didn't have an issue with me. I, I think I, I think it went well. It was just the show. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> true. We commissioned you for art for a show which didn't exist. Which didn't happen. We've got some beautiful artwork for an overlay for a show. <laughs> you, you could definitely use that background. You could use that background and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's always a, it seems to be always a thing for this channel. Like artwork and art. Yeah. But we love our artists, we love our contributors, we love our cast members and everyone here. Um, so, um, a couple of bookkeeping stuff. Um, Sirenscape is the audio that you're hearing in the background. Um, we use them pretty much for everything we have um, because they're amazing. Go check them out at sirenscape.com. They can really, really set up the mood. Um, we are now we're moving from the Sirenscape player to the Sirenscape online for this show. Uh, it just gives me a little bit more freedom, but Please bear with me, there's going to be a bit of a, um, learning stages for me um, because I'm used to being able to just do quick searches and pressing buttons. The searches are in different areas and there's more results and more buttons and it's going to be a bit more complex for me. But please, go I'll check them out. So far. They're amazing. Yeah. That's, that sounds good because I'm playing the same thing. We play the same, like, all the time. Sounds there's great. No sounds difference. great, Carl. Take the credit. It's amazing. <laughs> The, the reason why we're, we're, we're moving in this show is because, well, I don't think I'm going to have more than two sound elements I need to use. I'm not going to have to quickly flick through them. So it's a nice little slow, slow breaching in. Um, so yeah, go check them out. They do amazing stuff. Um, this is one of the more advanced features they've got, one of the more advanced options. Um, it's also really great for um, live DJing, like audio mixing it, which is what we're doing. Um, so um, the other thing is, is that you can help donate to the show. You can help the show by donating and also helping the players. Um, our players have hero points, which they can redeem for when they're dying. They can blow all of it, or they can use them for essentially a reroll. Um, and um, every dollar or per 100 bits you donate gives one hero point for the nominated person. A subscription gives um, one to everybody, and a gift subscription gives two to everybody. Um, they do max out at five on each player um, because over five they get quite reckless. Um, probably spent eight in one they episode, which was reckless. just super reckless. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, just just super reckless. It's but so it was entertaining great having hero points because I can I can do whatever I want. Yeah, how much danger we put? So, yeah, right, put other people in danger. That's the downside, yeah. right? Yeah. It's not so, just me, the whole party pays for it. I'm so sorry. So the more backup they have, the more dangerous they're going to be, which is kind of kind of entertaining <laughs> in itself. Um, so that's how that works. Um, we've currently got, at least on the overlay, please correct me if I'm wrong, um, two for Shireen. Sorry, three for Shireen. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds we've good got to me. Three for Taylor. And Actually, five sounds more right. <laughs> <laughs> and two for Ezric. Is that correct? Three. Three. Okay, I'll check. Oh, I'll fix okay. up the. 
generally it's the overlay that's wrong it's not the character sheets that's wrong so we'll, we'll have it that way um and now we can do our introductions of everybody so um game over would you like to talk about who you are and yeah uh Hi everyone, I'm Game Reaper from uh, Gathering of Nerds, uh, check us out. And uh, I am playing Azarek, the Cobalt Investigator. And uh, trying to solve all these mysteries. Fantastic. And uh, Taylor. So, uh, Chibi. <laughs> I, I guess. Hi guys, I'm Chibi. I am playing Taylor, the ever enthusiastic yet now somewhat a bit more downtrodden rookie who is just trying to do her best to keep everyone alive and uh but hey she's found some new conspiracies to kind of keep her going in the meantime so we'll see how that goes uh, we need to get a uh, uh compilation of uh you saying taylor instead of chibi no <laughs> no what i need to do is i need to spend a day and go through and finally get the edit of um, all the traps they went into at the um, at the um, temple after also clipping the um, was it the kobolds uh, make traps out of anything and I've also got to go through and find all of the cars that we drew in the undercity oh, yeah. um, as a confirmation confirmation compl <laughs> that um, because th as a montage got around it <laughs> Because that was one episode. Yes, I know you missed it, but oh my god, that was extreme with the amount of like cards we had. It was ridiculous. Yes, um, and yes, we've been corrected that the hero coins, not hero points. Um, hero points was in Pathfinder One. Um, that's why I'd really? still say it. Really? So, thank you for the correction. Um, I plan to totally ignore it. <laughs> what? I'm gonna get it right, but first I'm gonna check myself. I'll, I'll try I'm not to ignore, it, but I'm totally going to make it wrong. Um, Polly. Hello, it's me, Polly. People, I'm playing Shireen Alban, who is an honest cop rogue, excellent at a couple things, going undercover and doing surgery on people. Amazing. She's probably the best cop on the force, but she's very, uh, what's the word, humble about it. <laughs> the end. Wow, so many lies and a <laughs> straight face. Cat can roll yeah. for like I, insight. I can confirm <laughs> yeah. that uh, your uh, medic skills are just as great as your undercover skills. Yay, yeah, all right. <laughs> That's the way of putting go. it. Yes. That's true. <laughs> yes. um, so we're also using um, the um, sorry, we're also using the critical dice, so the critical cards. Um, so we have critical fumbles and critical hit points, so critical hits. I don't see them going to be used because they're pretty much used in combat. Um, so we do have them here. I just don't think we're going to be having combat here because um, this is a criminal under, like criminal world under den type thing, where you are the smallest fries in the room. Um, you are the the amoeba under these people's. <laughs> You're, you're I always are the large fries. Oh. <laughs> it says hero points. Right. <laughs> right there. Hero, hero points. points. <laughs> um, but on the overlay it does say hero coin. Oh, that's the issue. <laughs> so the blurb is wrong. All right. Well, well I think point couldn't fit. Uh, Car, she's going to fix that. No, I'm yeah. not. <laughs> God damn it, Kash, misleading everyone. Uh, oh. Hey, I can misspell your name. What would you rather? <laughs> I've done that multiple times on overlays. No? Okay, I'm good. So, good. As, a, as a quick end of session recap from last time, Ezrex on his way to hell, guys. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing could go wrong here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, yeah, I don't I, plan on staying. <laughs> oh, there's, well there's tests in every room so I wonder what the tests are in hell I wonder so as we left off last week in our previous episode our city guard have infiltrated somehow successfully infiltrated um, the house of planes a 
criminal speakeasy with a kind of a, with quite a decadent theme. Every room is based on a different room in, or different plane. So we have the Boneyard, we have Axius, Maelstrom, Abaddon, the Abyss, Hell, El Elysium, Heaven, and Nirvana. Our players have met Charisma, the Goddess of Death, who saw through the disguises quite easily, but um, played with it a little bit and um, sent them their own different ways to be judged in the rooms, or to stay here and be judged them, or to stay here and face the challenge. The challenge in this room, in each room, is how to impress the patron holding court. And is that patron, which is the most important person in the room and most, most likely the one to hold the information. Some of that information is correct. Some of them is, well, wild conspiracy theories as Taylor has found. The aliens. I know, they are so good. Um, and so yes, I did send Taylor into the drug den with the conspiracy nuts because it was the perfect room for Taylor. Um, Ezrek was sent to, um, was sent to, I'm trying to find the name of the place, um, to Axius because that's where he should have been, but no, he went elsewhere in his, <laughs> in his investigation, straight line investigation for German half. Um, Deirdre stayed in the boneyard and agreed to be buried alive before having second thoughts about Yay. said things and being close to her deceased husband. Um, although even making the attempt impresses people. Um, Deirdre um, went to... Um, I've got to try to find the names of these places. <laughs> um, sorry, I've, I've, I've got to get the names of you. Um, Deirdre went to Abilene, um and um, drank from the chalice that everyone else is drinking with. And it's free drinks, great, but the drinks are quite strong and a mix of pretty much everything else and everyone else's, yeah, bits. So um, found some information um, about from a thief who is currently um, having a PTSD moment where um, he doesn't know which story is correct but I'm sure that one of them is correct and both terrify him and therefore he's trying to drink his his um, his memory away um, Ezric found out that um, hell is probably the best place to go from Deirdre um, a nice subtle insight there, but we go back to Shireen Alban, who unsubtly broke said cover. said my full name, thank you. Yes, because she also said the full name of her, like, also called herself Shireen, and called Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, in her first opening of her mouth, undercover. Nice. Where Shireen is um, chatting so to speak, um, with um, Molly Crimson. Molly Crimson, a female gnome madam who runs a coalition of sex workers spanning several neighbourhoods around the city, including the Precipice Quarter. Instantly recognisable by her short red flaming red, short flaming red hair, matched by long opal gloves, and a low-cut dress of the same colour. Um, after being getting a, after getting a drink for her and getting well, worms burrow under the skin, which were promptly not removed properly, but just roughly cut half off and half out. Um, you've got you've been chatting for a while. What have you been chatting about? Sorry, what was her name again? And then I'll. I'll tell you uh, everyone. Molly Crimson. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so we're drinking. So, Molly, Molly, I'm I'm really down for this gig, right? I've always wanted to be a lady of the night. Is that what you still call him? Oh, we work during the day uh, as well. It's, it's oh, all... good, 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 good. Shifts, shift, shift work. You know, I'm okay with shifts. 
I got to work with my other job, which is a, I don't have another job. I don't do anything else. This is all I do. It, it's right. okay. Okay. We, yeah, we have yeah. we have what um, I call a gig economy. When work arrives, we can either take it or not. So okay. if, if you have other work, um, just make sure that you're fresh and perfectly clean. Cleanness is um, oh, yeah, yeah. It's is very to, uh, important for my clientele. Yeah, I would say close to godliness, but that's not the kind of business you're in, I don't think. Depending uh, on which god. Ooh, true, too true. Too true. So um, when do I get to meet the client? Like, you know, I'm ready to sign up right now. When do I get to meet the clients? You know, like... Do I get to choose the clients, or do they choose well, me? Do choose if, you, if you're going to be starting out, then um, you don't have much options. You're not at the top of the pecking order. Well, well, this is where you're wrong. You assume I'm just starting out, but I've been doing this for a long time. I've been a uh, uh, adult services worker. We like to call it that in the business, adult services worker, for for many years. I did it in another district, so you probably didn't know me, but I'm really good at it. How which mm-hmm. district was that? It was the, uh, it was one of the other districts here, here in the city. You yes, know. this was one. I, I, I have, um, I, I've been around for a while and, um, I have workers throughout the city. Oh, all right. Well, let me, uh, let me tell you what district it was. Of course, I remember it very well. It was the, uh, stupid character sheet. Thank you for moving us to the town map as well. Yes. Oh, yeah, there we go. You know, it was in the Ivy District. Ah, yes, the Ivy District. We have we have quite a good call for work over there. Um, yeah, see, I was there, but, you know, I was... Uh, under yeah. what name were you working? Sharon. Sharon, <laughs> not, not Sharain. Yes. No, no, well, I don't well, know not, who that Sharain is we're talking best. about. No, you introduced yourself as that earlier. Oh, right. Right. Well, that's not my real name. Of course, I'd be silly to use my real name in this situation. But is it uh, Sharon or is it Sharain? It's, well, well, my real name is actually Sharon. So I guess I worked under my real name. I, I, I don't know. I forget. It was a long time ago, but I was really good at it. And so I'm looking forward to being really good now. And I, I, I really only like to go with the top people, the top, the top clientele. <laughs> Well, it does take a while to work up in any organization. And if you're going to sign up with my organization, well, you're going to be starting at least on the lower run. Might not be the, the very lowest, but um, we will we'll, we can test you out, see how things go and um, see how you go at um, taking command of a situation. Or would, would you rather being the opposite and um, having someone take command of you? Oh, I'm submitting no, no, to no, someone no, no. else? No, 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 no. I, I am definitely in command here. I, I take command of situations. Unless, of course, it's a specific person that I might want to meet with, then I'll do whatever they say. Uh, but, you know, generally speaking, I want to take command of the situation. There's, there's, there's certain people that I might be okay with not taking command with. So you're okay no, with... It's... You're okay with whips? Paddles? If, if the client's name begins Flails. with a J, for example, I'm usually okay with anything. Normally, I really want to be in command, but certain see, clients. <laughs> see, um, in our line of business, well, at least in in my business, um, we don't ask clients for names. We have uh, yeah. a, we have a client, and they could be any anyone they want, and it doesn't matter what their name is. What is important is who they are and seeing inside their soul what they want. What they desire, and maybe giving them what they need instead. Well, you know, I'm super good at looking in other people's souls. I've been doing it forever, so you know, just 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 stick me at them, and I'll just go do it. You know, like I'll just yeah, I'll do it. That's what I do. So you'll just do anything, will you? Anything uh, well, that it takes. It depends. What, okay, so now. Now I understand that that you have some knowledge issues, but I'm talking about like clients that have the name J. I'm, I'm you know, you might not know their name, but I can check. And oh, I, I don't get... have knowledge issues. We just don't ask for client names. I see. Well, then I don't. It's know not. It's not about their. Out. It's not about their names. It's about if they what they're willing to do and what they want to do. 
Uh, all right. Well, of okay, course, all, all my I'm clients in. can pay. It's I'm got in. Nothing. I'm in. I'm in. And, Give me um, an assignment. Well, we don't have a time. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's about I'm ready for work now. Yeah. As I said, this is a what do we call a gig economy? When the work arrives, and we could send send you a message and see if you pan out. And let we'll, me ask we'll you a question. Slowly, yes. Do you have any clients that come up and say, "Hey, you know what my catchphrase is? Don't hassle the Hoff. I want to meet that person if that's their catchphrase." So, <laughs> that would be divulging secrets and when we, we're very private with our clients we don't talk about what goes on in the rooms or if it's outside or if it's even on the streets we don't talk about these things it's about confidentiality so if someone does have something that they say in the moments of passion or uh, pain yeah, right, right, then right. we don't talk about such things so if someone did say that as weird as that is, that's <laughs> between them and the person that they're with at the time. What was How many they are? Again? Uh, don't hassle the half. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, if somebody comes in saying that, that's the person I want as my client. Our client. And they can do whatever they want. No, no, no. As I said, it's all about discretion, confidentiality. And cleanliness. Cleanliness is very important. It's why we've been able to be so successful. All right. And she just tugs at her long opera gloves, like just tighter. All right, well, I'm going to just drink a little bit here and finish filling out this application, but, uh, you know, like... So is there any way I can contact you? Should, should the opportunity arise for, for work? Anywhere you can contact me. Why don't Why don't I contact you? Ah, uh, that does that? not. That's not how it works. It, she, <laughs> as as the proprietor, <laughs> as the madam, um, when work comes around, how do you know that there is work available for you? We would need to contact you, especially well, something suitable for your line of work. I don't really have a house right now. It's more like it's a. Okay, uh, we can send a messenger. You can send one of the young girls to... Hmm. Okay, well, let me get back to you on that. Because I don't know where, you know... A person with the uh, adult experience that I do, we roam, right? You know, we go where the clients are. And if there's no clients, we're not there. So, you know, I'm here in Absalom. I go to whatever... Other cities that you know. Well, this you this is the biggest of. city there is. Yeah. Well. So yeah. But... There's there's a ton of clients here. It's just we go to the clients. Yes. Usually to the to the houses, to yeah. the manors and their estates. Sometimes to the churches, but it's up to the churches. Huh? If we need to contact them, like if we need to contact you, we need to be able to find you. Um, should there be work? If you're not available, if you're not if you're not home at the time. Um, then that's okay. We can send the right, to okay. somebody else. But I got a great idea. This is a great idea. Do you have any clients that are in like the labor relations business? Because I find those to be a huge turn on. Labor relations is the best thing for me. It gets me excited. And I like to hang out with those kinds of clients. Anybody like that? So, so you're like a rougher man? Or, or uh, woman? Uh, labor relations, right? I mean... This, I mean, just, just, just the words get me just all worked up and. So, so it's not, 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 not the rough hands and the, the bulky men. Oh, again, all yeah, women. The sweaty sure. hairiness. Again, exactly. all women. Exactly. Mostly, mostly men whose name starts with J. I'm so into those guys. Again, ridiculous. names. Again, right, names. Oh, no, okay, no, no, no. If, if you're totally fixating understand. on problem names, then I don't think we might be able to do business together because I, I don't think you understand how important confidentiality is. All right. Oh, okay. 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 Well, you can uh, you can find me at. Uh, I'll be happy to give you my address so you can come find me. So I give her uh, um, Deidre's house <laughs> address. Oh <my> God. <laughs> you can find me there. <laughs> Because I can't give her the barracks, because I live in the barracks. 
You and do, Deidre yes. Has a house. Yeah, so I can't give her that, so I give her Deidre's house. Come in this same this, district that you're in there. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Eastgate with the grandkids. Ah, that's the best. No, you've done it. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, well, you, you can find me there. I'm ready to do some work. Just send your girl or whatever over. When Deidre finds out, she's oh coming. <laughs> I can see we're going to be really, really good in business here together. We're going to we're going to do a lot of great things, I'm sure. Thanks for bringing me on board. Um, and if there's anything else I can help you with, then um, sure. Oh, no, no, no. You've helped me enough. Can I help you? That's really what we're talking about here. Well, and the answer I said, yes. We'll have to see how you go. <laughs> okay. All right, enjoy the drink, and I take another swig. Here you go. I got that for you, you know. All right, anyway, oh, Are bye -bye. you going to get oh. another drink, are you? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, we're here to drink, right? We're not here to do anything else besides so, hang out and drink and just talk idle talk. That doesn't Which mean drink are you going to get out of its container? What do you mean? It's the one that I had to cut, like, cut the, like... The, oh, uh, you're finishing, you're finishing your drink. Yeah, right, right. The worms oh, okay. are still coming out of my arm. You know, I earned that. So I just finish it off. I'm like, okay. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. As um, Ta Taylor exits the, um, exits the room to the north. Um, first, oh, God, I've got to find the names of these rooms. Um, uh, Taylor the was Maelstrom in... room. Yep. Yes. I thought it was, but I didn't have it there. As Taylor exits the Maelstrom room, full of its psychedelic lighting, or like it, the background music and the fumes, the psychedelic fumes, um, you notice um, across the hall, across the large open space of the main bone room, Ezric entering what you know to be hell. She doesn't say it out loud, but in her brain bits, Taylor is thinking, Oh damn, Ezric is so hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, um, she'll... So, um, with the, you know, you mentioned the angel and guards. Are they outside here? Like on so the other ev side? Every door, like every door opening, there is yeah. an angel on one side and a devil on the other. Um, oh, okay. Each each of these manly manly men are very buff. They're not carrying weapons, and they have a big smile um, to all the patrons. But they look really dangerous to someone on the force infiltrating a criminal speakeasy like this. Taylor's because she was like. As she sees Ezra going into the that room, and I feel like she kind of had a glim glimpse in when she was headed towards the abyss. She sort of kind of like walk up to one of the guards outside the um, maelstrom room mm -hmm. and be like, uh, excuse me? They don't pay you any heed. They look off in, as if into space. Well, I want to kind of want to wave my hand in front of their faces but she's already lost so many figures I don't think I should try <laughs> okay never mind and she's just gonna kind of like oh, I want to see what that challenge is and she's gonna start making her way down towards hell just so that she can kind of look in okay so in in hell with Ezra mm -hmm. Um, red lanterns drench this room in bloody light, illuminating the walls, painted with fiery pits of rocky crags. All the tables here are insert into waist-high pits in the floor. The bartender stands in their own bottle-lined bottle pit in the centre, sporting either so, sporting either a tiefling's tiefling browed horn or a set of remarkable fakes. The elaborate torture devices stand ready around the room. 
And that is the description of hell. Alright. So, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, I think uh, you said that uh, this person looked to be the most important in the room? Yes. German Huff is certainly the most important person in the room. Alright. He carries around an air of um, importance and um, the others around, they're, they're talking and chatting quite happily. Um, but they seem to defer to him. Every now and then, people will just look over to him just to see if they're okay to be here in his presence. Okay. The German Huff as well, um, he is... I've got a nice description that I, I want to read out. Um, what, did we find him? I've got... Yeah. Um, a large, imposing... A large, imposing man... With gaudy, so gaudy amount of jewelry, with an open hanging shirt, and tattoos covering his chest, most prominent of which is a large eye of Ardon in the centre. Um, that's the description of German Hof. Okay, uh, what does he seem to be doing? Um, talking to a few of the patrons um, about a new. Um, a new device he's had imported to the city. A new toy to play with. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, just stand in the room drinking my drink. Uh, just pretending to uh, just look around and absorb the room. And just try and overhear what he's talking about. Ah. Uh, so can I get a... Um... Kind of a what will this, what will this be? Um, perception, like a stealth or perception? Right, uh... Observation, that type of thing. Okay. Um... He's not being subtle about things. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh, just roll perception. Will I uh, get my investigating lead bonus? Ooh. Um, for this, uh... no. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. He's talking about. Um, He's talking about how the, the the festival bringing in all these foreigners to the city, um, and that they're taking away the jobs for them for the local workers, and that how he wishes that more more the um, more the people in the festival in the Presbyterian Quarter would be employed from the city, and therefore keeping the funds into the city. Um, and he seems quite annoyed at the fact that um, all these people are taking money away from the from the hardworking residents. All right, uh, yeah. At this point, I'll uh, sit down opposite the table and uh, put down my hood. Okay, so you uh, sit down next, essentially across the table from Jermanov. He looks over to you and it's like, are you willing to um, be our next victim? I'm just here to uh, talk about uh, recent hirings? Mm. I'm not going to, I don't think I'll talk to you unless you're willing to um, put yourself at my mercy and um, I want to see what you're made of. Uh, mercy? Oh, this is hell. You do not find mercy here. If you wish mercy, then go over to heaven. Not hell. I, I was more asking clarification. Clarification of what? Uh, you recently hired. Um, the... I see you asking for information again. That's not going to happen. Not until you submit. Show me what you're made of. Uh, and. At this stage, everyone's just turned. The conversation hasn't been loud. Hasn't been, like, above normal, but everyone now is looking at you. All right, uh, yeah, on. Uh, and you see torture devices around the room. 
on the walls and floor. Was there anyone already being tortured or not? No. Okay. Yeah. Do you consent to wear the butterfly boots? Uh, did you hear about a uh, reward going around for finding missing people? Again, you're try. You're not. This is not your court. This is not your court. This is not your palace. I'm trying to warn you. Ah, but this is my place. This is my place of work. This is my place of worship. Do you wish to submit? Will you put on the butterfly boots? Put yourself to the test. Look, I'm trying to be nice. Taylor, from the outside you see the two guards, the heaven and the, the angels and the demon, turning. In like as in to look in towards Ezra? Yes. Can I hear anything from outside or You can, you can hear that um Ezra's trying to ask questions. And you can see in that like people are looking. Towards the direction of where Isaac is. Yeah, uh, there's a big reward for missing Minkayan workers, and words going around that uh, they were recently hired from you, and people are asking questions. Well, people can ask questions, and. Um... That's all. That's up to them. But I have got nothing to do with anything here. My contract with the with the Minkians are done and dealt with. They've got nothing to do with me anymore. I'm a businessman. I'd rather spend my time with the important people, um, the locals, so we can um, get some money towards their coffers instead of having it spent and given out and leaving the city. Uh, Han, going back uh, to the list of uh, uh, missing people, uh, okay, well the thing is, that is uh, why people are asking questions, because lots of people have gone missing, all from outside of the city. Well, perhaps some of the locals um, don't like that some locals are fed up with all the um, all the hordes of newcomers and the um, inevitable consequences of the Radiant Festival. So um, they've give, they've fed up with it and taking action into their own hands. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm just a humble businessman. I'm trying to say people believe you are responsible. They can believe what they want, but it has nothing to do with me. Are you one of those believers? Of course not, but uh, I'm just wondering if you know anything about uh, what happened these people I don't know anything I don't know anyone that's disappeared but as I said if people are disappearing maybe the locals are fed up it's got nothing to do with me I'm just a businessman my only link to the Minkines is that silly temple bringing their own workers um, they've asked me for one worker so I've provided with locals at least someone's willing to work with locals as much as well they screwed them out of funds but I tried to get a good deal with them for them for your kind even yes that's right they were kobolds yes, yes uh, and the got them stone, work. and the stone scales were very happy with that yes they should be I tried hard to get them for the work that they were deserving um, negotiated hard I got beat down a few pieces but um, at least we got some work coming into the coffers of locals 
Yes, sir. That is uh, another reason why I'm here. The stone scales have a slight concern about being disappeared. Stone scales have disappeared? Uh, They have a concern about that being a possibility. After all, uh, the last workers that uh, you... uh, that uh, went through you disappeared as well. Look, I, I, I talk to a lot of workers and negotiate a lot of contracts, but once the contract is dealt with, it's got nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me at all. Uh, so you're saying you know nothing, and I'm just going to try and just figure out uh, how much he's bullshitting. Um, he says that he knows nothing. And so would that be a perception? Yeah, that would be perception. Uh, it's going to be a hidden one. I'll okay. take that out of your hands. Yep. And uh, since uh, one of my leads is uh, the yes. missing workers. Yeah. You can add your lead to it. I'll add that to it. Um, where's my perception? It's there. Oh, hi! Would you like to use a hero coin? <laughs> Would you like to use a hero coin? <laughs> uh, uh, I think I'm good. It's probably going to roll lower if I do that. <laughs> since I don't know what it is. Worth a try. Um, so, you don't know. He's hard to read. This is someone that's this is someone that's quite boisterous in his nature and he looks like he spent his life um, negotiating and deceiving people and he's worked and he's done a hard job doing it. So he's really hard to read. Uh, he's really hard to read any ticks or any deceptions from him. So for you, you're just, you're not sure. Even if you're plus one for investigating the lead. Uh. Unless you want to ask him something specific. Yeah, uh. Yeah, uh, just do you know anyone who would actively try and uh, get rid of foreigners? Oh. Anyone that's lost work or lost lost money to them, I and mean, I've got a little bit of a cut from the negotiations, but that's about it. Do you have any specifics? No. This is the biggest city there is, and when you have a huge influx of foreigners coming in, taking all the money out of the city, then there's a lot of people that are going to be annoyed. Oh fuck. Uh, what I yeah it's just talking to a brick wall uh, yeah that's Karsh's NPC is right there I mean perhaps as I said if you would like to prove yourself worthy time to devise I... a stratagem ugh <laughs> <laughs> uh. Are there um, angels and demon things outside the door doing anything else? Or... No, they're just looking. So I'm looking noticing. Shireen's noticing the activity and it's kind of wandering over this way. Da, 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 da. All right, just so you know. Here I am. Mm-hmm. Hey, everybody, what's going on? <laughs> Kayla's ears go back flat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm assuming Ezra's actually inside. Yeah. Opposite German Hall. So uh, who's Ezra talking to? Um, Sherman? <laughs> Get out! No way! The, our, our guy? <laughs> Do you oh, say what? it that loudly? Uh, okay, I guess so. Oh, nice! <laughs> awesome! Ezra, you're doing a great job! Oh you my are- god! <laughs> Real names. <laughs> All right. Kayla, Kayla, oh. start sidestepping. <laughs> Like 
she'll she'll kind of go up to the gods and be like, is anyone actually, you know, being <laughs> oh, that's like, funny, girl. <laughs> is there, you get a hero hero point slash coin. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll oh, that's there. Yeah. Um, because I think Nero feels sorry for you. Yeah. Uh, can you excuse me for one second? And um, I'm just going to. Uh, As if we've never met. Yeah. And I'm just going to stand up and uh, walk up to Shireen. Hey, uh, I got a Shireen. big smile on my face, too. Uh, Shireen, can yeah. you uh, yeah. just come here for a second? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're doing great. You're doing great. And as soon you're as uh, Shireen <laughs> leans down, I'm, uh, Ezra's just going to slap her across the Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? The, 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 the angel and devil turn. <gasps> I thought we were you. friends. God. From, from looking into the room and making sure everything's like, they're now looking both at you. And Taylor, you notice all of them around the periphery are looking at you. These are, these are not these are not statues or not. They are just really trained like humans that are just now looking <laughs> I see what? and observing. <laughs> what? what are you doing? What, what? 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 I don't know what I'm doing. I know you're doing great. You should go back there and keep talking to 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 our guy because I can see he's about to break and tell you what we need to know. I've done this before, so I can tell when when someone is getting ready to tell you the truth you're almost there just keep pushing it keep pushing go 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 uh, don't worry i'll back you up if you need help you want me to do it i can go talk <laughs> uh, just going to uh walk back in <laughs> so from behind the stairs Ferasmo um approaches um approaches taylor's like um do you know these people? They seem to be kind of, kind of a stir. No, quite. No, what? And truthfully, she says, I, I don't quite know what just happened. Um, can, can you tell me more about Nirvana? About Nirvana? I th- is that the one that's on the, the, the far to the left? Oh, the right. one with the woodland that looked kind of nice. Ah, Nirvana, yes. Um, Nirvana is um, kind of a special place. Um, not for everybody. Um, but it's tranquil in its own ferocity. What would you like to know? It does that. So all the rooms here have challenges? Ah, yes, yes, yes. All of the rooms have a challenge. Um, even the Boneyard has a challenge. Oh, was that the being buried in that coffin? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that was... There's a there's an important patron in each room holding court. And to impress that patron, we need to show them that you're worthy of approaching and talking to them. Are you able to give me a hint as, like, you use some some conflicting words there being like you know i can't remember now shoot, shoot but like it was like fer- ferocious but not <laughs> oh yes it, it's tranquil it's very idyllic but it's there's um well let's see the challenge in that room would be to um unarm combat oh it's a fighting one yes it's a fighting which is why i didn't really recommend you to um to that just that location oh okay. I, I didn't think although bestial combat with claws might be an advantage you seem to be lacking some of yours so i didn't think that that um you'd really succeed Ella hides her like mutilated paw hand just like it, it's yeah. okay dewey it's okay i doubt they'll grow back but it's okay oh i i mm. what's what's the room with the griffin ah 
Oh, wait. I think I think I saw it from the other side of the room. You have to stick your hand in it. The Elysium, yes. Um, it's about trust. And um, if the animal doesn't trust you, it tends to bite. Oh, it's a good judge of character then? No, it's just hungry. Oh, I can trust in its hunger then and know that it will bite. Okay. Pretty much. Oh, okay. Thank you for the information. Is um, there anything else I, I could help you with, dear? I I might just I might just go get a drink at the bar. How's the maelstrom? I can smell it on you from here. Was okay. it enlightening? Taylor's eyes would light up. It's like, oh, there was so much like interesting stuff happening in there, and the things that they were talking about was just like so in depth and amazing. <laughs> And that was really quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like they, the brothers are quite um, entertaining in their stories. Who knows if they are true? Who knows if they are accurate? But um, entertaining nonetheless. Um, and the substances tend to help that enlightening, the enlightenment. Yeah. They said some interesting things, and, and now I feel like I need to go do some research. You don't have a library or books here, do you? Um, unless like room? we don't really cater for that. We are a bar. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go to the bar. Well, good luck, and um, stay out of trouble. Um, hopefully, well, maybe stay away from those two if they get into trouble. Yeah, I should, um, I, oh, she'll kind of remember that she's meant to be in character and just be like, <laughs> I, I should discipline my bodyguard. If I, if I hit my bodyguard, is that okay? Or is that going to make the, um, I should stick to just verbal disencouragement? Verbal is best. Our okay. staff are very well trained and, um, and she breaks character, like, and troublemakers are removed. Gotcha. Okay. And then Taylor's going to start stepping towards Shireen and just be like, Bodyguard with me! <laughs> just start making her way to the bar! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Try to take her away from Ezra. I'm doing what anyway. I'm, told, I'm, I'm told right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll just uh, sit down. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, what I'm trying to say is there's a big uh, reward for finding out what happened to these uh, disappeared uh, people and solving it. And I know that you are a very well-informed in man. And so you're looking for information. Yes. And yet you won't sub submit yourself to my court to gain that information. Uh, Are you saying that also? Look, oh, fine, let's just get this over with. Oh god, uh, Ezra, I'm praying for you! There's a cheer from out from, from back at the bar. You hear a cheer go up from inside hell. As the patrons are moving about and there's an activity as Ezric, you are ordered to lay on or asked to lay on the floor. Not ordered to. Asked to lay on the floor. Well, they attach this wooden contraption to your legs and ankles um, a contraption which has a myriad of interwoven ropes and straps um, you asked one more time a do you do this willingly or do you wish to walk away If, if you tell me what I uh, need to know, then 
Yes, I will. Ah, see, I, I cannot promise you that I have the answers of what you need to know. I can let you ask the questions, but do you do this willingly? Uh, yes. As German Hoff, with a really disturbing smile that just slowly encroaches his face, reaches over and pulls one of the ropes and just yanks it down as hard as he can. The contraption s slaps into your, into your ankles and feet. Um, at a hard force uh. there's a huge cheer that goes off at the clack of the wood against wood and the wood against skin and bone um, can I have Palish right at the cheer already making their way back <laughs> I, can see, I can see on my screen um, can I have a fortitude save please oh, of course as the pain becomes right, immense uh, oh. Burn a hero point on that. Burn, a, burn the hero point already. Hero point already. None of okay. us have good fortitude. No, no, no. No, I sure am um, expert oh. in it. The so, only one who has oh, a decent good. fortitude is the old lady, and she's not even here. <laughs> I, know. I know. And it was a will save for her for the buried alive, which made it even worse. Um, so as the contraption sh like clackers shut. And then opens again and gets shut again at each pull of the oh. rope. Um, you're, you are just um, inundated with immense pain. Um, so immense that you take damage. Mm -hmm. is, he, is he? So he's essentially like, is he breaking Ezra's shins? Um, as, as, you, as, you, as you sneak across, and by the way, um, Taylor is sneaking across. Um, to um to look you see that Ezrak's lower like limbs are bound in these like slats of rope rope and wood and with every yank of the um, rope the wood just comes in quickly and, and just like claps together and squeezes and then relaxes again as if almost butterfly wings flapping around Ezrak's legs Oh, so like a trap kind of opening and closing around his legs. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, and you see this man above Ezrak with a really disturbing, really disturbing smile that he's having far too much fun with this contraption. Um, Ezrak, you take six bludgeoning damage. Right. Mm -hmm. As we're kind of going back, Taylor is like under her breath to like Shireen when they were like still kind of together. It's yeah. like, don't cause a disturbance because they're gonna yeah. kick you out otherwise. It, it, it's oh. it's non-lethal bludgeoning damage, but it's still bludgeoning damage. Um, as it continues for some time, um, and after as after um, your torturer's interest wanes, um, he goes and sits down as the others in the room start untangling your legs and have to help you onto the chair to sit across from him. There's, um, well, ask away, little one. You did well. Um, would you like a drink for your time? Very much, yes. Um, he, he looks over to the bartender, who just instantly understands and um, starts busily making something. Um, and they get you quite a nice drink. Alcoholic, very strong. Um, but doesn't really have the kick of a very strong alcoholic drink. So, what can I do for you? What questions do you have to ask? Do you know uh, who would have uh, made uh, the missing foreigners disappear? Again, I don't know anyone specific. I don't, just know that there's a discontent around the city that the foreigners have been taking the money out of the city. That they've come in and instead of enriching the city, they're going to be taking the money out when they go. So if there's issues with that, well, that's not on me. Do you know where uh, the centre of this discontent is? Well, it's focused on the Precipice Quarter. Um... 
The blue collar workers, most likely. You, you see, um, because you see everything, um, mm-hmm. that some of his tat well, he does see everything, um, that some of his tats um, are very much dock worker related. Like, very much blue collar, hard working. And they look like some of the oldest of the of the tattoos on his body, through through his open shirt. Okay. Uh... Okay. I'll just uh, start listing off uh, the names of uh, the missing foreigners and just. Ask if he knows what happened to any of them. Um, he, he knows. Unless you're asking, like, he doesn't know anything about the majority. So if you want to be specific. Okay. Uh, do you know what happened uh, to the Minkayan workers you hired? That's what I'm asking for, for specific. Says, look, if you want, if you wish to know, yes, some of them, some of them did come here. Um, a couple of weeks ago, look, they were complaining, they were annoyed, um, they went off, like, I gave them extra funds to get their own lodging elsewhere. Uh, um, where is this lodging? Can you roll a diplomacy check, please? Okay, uh, yes, I can do that. <laughs> you went through a lot just to get this diplomacy check. Okay. Plus, being tortured gives you bonuses to this. Okay. Um, he says, well, I don't know specifics, but they did say that they were going to, they were going off to a new hotel that's in the Presbyterian Quarter. Um, I don't know much about it. Um, something called Dreaming or something. I don't know. That's what I ever heard. Dreaming? Yes. Okay. Uh, that can help narrow, narrow it down. But I still think if there's, if there's disappearances, it's... Look, if there's something going on, it's most likely just locals pissed off that they're, that they're losing money. They're losing funds. They're losing jobs. This was supposed to be a job creation for, um, for our own citizens, not for others. Uh, yes, and the stone scales have been very glad. Uh, and all right, uh, all right. So the last they were seen were at uh, the dreaming. Okay. Uh, they mentioned they're going to that. Okay. Uh. So, how long was this? Uh. Did this happen before they disappeared? Well, when you when you line up the dates, they are the same night. As in the same night that they went to him, the same night that they disappeared. I see. Uh, thank you. And now I know where to search. Thank you. And I expect... I expect um, some of this reward will come my way if I helped you with this searching. Uh, yes, uh, I'll be in touch. How about I'm in touch with you? It just means a bit more efficiency that way. Where, where would I be able to find you? Uh, I will... Uh, or should I say, where am I... People will be able to find you. Uh, I don't get out too I, much. The coins. And your name? Uh, Max. Max from the coins. Shouldn't be too hard to track down. Um, especially with my agents everywhere. We'll be speaking again, I, I assume. Max from the coins. Max. Well, you said from the coins, so... Yeah. You haven't given me much more information to go by. 
on a dress, a street. Uh, and worry, we'll, I... we'll find you. Yeah, and yeah, I'll yeah, I'll uh, just put up my hood and awkwardly uh, just shuffle out of room. As as you put up your hood, you notice that most people again just start looking away because that's the effect of the hood. German, on the other hand doesn't as Ezra yeah. starts so yeah just as I walk away there's just this self ow ow you, ow it's more limping at this yeah. stage Taylor thinks it's the right thing to do so she'll do a polite golf clap as you exit the room triumphantly because she and, thinks like yes and, well done well done and every time you go for the golf clap you, you feel pain of your of your Miss Nubbins oh yeah, she, she won't clap for very long. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I could probably take care of that limp for you. Uh, yeah. I I think we I think that's uh, enough fun for tonight. Uh, we probably should be heading out. Um, have you got okay. enough information though? I do want to try this chair right here first. The throne? Yeah. I'll yeah. just, uh, yeah. Yep. So <laughs> I'll just uh, mention, yeah, he mentioned that uh, the last place they were seeing is uh, uh, a hotel, something to, uh, called some, uh, Dreaming Something. Hmm. Do I have any idea what they're talking about? No, right? I don't know. No, you, right. you got a job instead of asking questions. <laughs> Great undercover work. Well, I could go ask some more questions. Yeah. Could. Where should we go next? Uh, uh, if you wanted a room, the one that we first went to apparently is like a fighting room. If you want a fight fighting people. room. Well, that sounds good. Me and my 10 hit points want to go do some fighting. <laughs> All right, which which room was that one? That was the far left. Wait. Hey, Deidre, how you doing? How's the bar? All right, I'm going in here. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, it, it might, uh, we'll have to, uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find a hotel that has uh, the name Dreaming right. involved. Right? Uh, Taylor is kind of one of her ears is twitching and she'll kind of look down at Ezarek and just be like if you want to talk about hotels it's probably best that you speak to my bodyguard about it because I let them take care of things <laughs> and then she'll kind of stalk off following Shireen because it's like we're going to be back to do, do, do a deception oh. please open deception Taylor? Yes <sighs> A 17. So you, you say it loud enough and kind of pseudo convincing enough that you're trying to keep your cover. Yeah, she'll just make her way towards Nirvana to see possibly Shireen getting beat up. <laughs> so the walls, hey, everybody. the walls of this room <laughs> are painted with rolling hills, pastoral forests and floating temples. The tables and bar are seats and seats in the room are mostly carved to look like natural tree stumps um, and other natural phenomena, um, save for a raised stone dais in the center of the room, which has a squared off surface um, with inset lit torches. The painters in the room are milling about, keeping quiet um, and just relaxing. Mm. So that's all? That's it. That's all I get? Yeah. All right, so what... I was having to look around with this big old square. That would be the Raystone dais in the center of the room. Oh, I don't know what that means. A dais, I, I just, a Raystone fl- platform. Okay. Like a step up. So I touch it. Oh, okay. So I can stand on it? Yes. 
All right, so I step on it. A cheek. Uh, the Hello. patrons look around the room. They, they cheer. We have a new comp. We new have a new brawler for our for our room. Everybody. Yes, you do. Everybody, please pay attention. And what is your what is this is the uh, the bartender's name? And what is your name, challenger? It's Sharon. I mean, Sharon. 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 Sharon anything? Good fighter. Sharon. Good fighter. Well, we will see. Yes. We will yeah, see. That's right. They named me because of my good fighting. Well, oh, let's see if your name is correct or if you're just um, full of hot air. As the the person behind the bar um, unshackles his his cloak, and you see a large, muscular um, tiefling step up onto the bar and then step onto the platform opposite you. Ooh, says, right. Well, Sharon, good fighter. Um, shall we go a few rounds? Yes, we should. This is just like Absalom Gladiators. I love it. Feel, feel free to tap out and um, don't get yourself burnt. As he seemed to nudge something, Taylor seemed, seemed to nudge something on the side of the dais and the flames of the torches start going a bit higher. And you're oh. standing on a stone platform with fire now surrounding the platform. Yes, I need to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Good and the room, the room is now a lot hotter and a lot brighter from the fire surrounding the two on the dais. So I say, good people and fellow patrons, I am Sharon Goodfighter. I am ready to take on this challenge and defeat Ye Foe right here before me. Kind of a performance check with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that. I don't think I have Jack for performance, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> well, this is what you're doing. Oh, you're I, got, to do I do have a good performance. Woo! Nice! Like okay. Mesmerized! So there is a cheer. Like, there yes. is a cheer. <laughs> and you get patrons coming in from outside. Is the... I take tips, too, and I put a jar out. <laughs> so, ah! The tips are mine, says the bartender. Who's... Mm. Fa- I don't know where I got but the But how, how, anyway. how, <laughs> how about we take a bet, shall we? Shall we take What's a bet? Now? A wager? Good a sir? A wager. Yes. Good sir or madam? Oh, it's a, it's, it's a the, good sir. The bartender, sir. the male. All right, yes. Well, why? A wager? A friendly wager for for, for whoever has the, the greater skills in this in this uh, test of skill? I would be so great. Whatever. Excited. So how much yes. would you like to wager? I was thinking 100 gold. Hmm. <laughs> gold. I... Let me consider that. Do we got that? Yeah. You see, you see the tip jar on the bar, and it's full of gold. Oh. All right, so I just empty my pockets. I don't know how much gold I have. I got about twenty gold. So slumming it tonight, are we? Uh, well, hey, sometimes. Well, you don't know how much money I started with tonight. I started out with a thousand gold, but somebody who rolls like me, we burn through money t- fast. So next time we'll make it a thousand. Today, I'm sorry, it's got to be twenty. Unless you um, take credit. I, no, no, no. We don't take credit. We just take coin. <laughs> and and right. as you say, you do look like you've had a few incidents tonight. How about we? <laughs> how about we take it easy on you and not, and not burn you as he runs his hand through the flames about Ooh. waist high now. Well, normally I would agree. I, 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 well, normally I wouldn't mind getting burned. In fact, I love fire and I love getting burned. But you're right. You're right. Today, today, let's try something else. I'm going to enjoy this. Kayla is like trying to remember like her personality for her character and she's like calling out to Shireen. If you lose this spike, consider yourself unemployed. Oh no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Prove you're worth the coin I give you. Very good. Very true. Good lady. I shall not let you down, nor shall I let down this, this audience. <laughs> wonderful here. And their support of me. Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> okay. So I'm just reading up the grapple. Um, Cause it's, it's a grapple check, by the way. Not, no not fist fighting. It's grappling. Feel Wrestling. free to try to um, grapple me. Good, sir. On the other side of the room. Um, Ezric 
I don't know if you want to point this out. Um, but you see, you know, you, you notice the more the important patron of the room, um, a female, um, kind of young for for the other patrons around. Um, early twenties, um, under like under a hood, um, has a almost an innocent face, but you see a, a, a cruelness in the eyes. Um, and she's there dressed nonchalantly. Um, she has a, um, a stylized necklace and that's what catches your eye. Um, the necklace is stylized as a garrote. And you know this to be one of the, um, assassins guilds of the city. The, the garrote sisterhood. Do I see that? No, this is... You're busy yeah. in the center of the ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As That's I can where tell, I belong. Of yeah. able to watch the crowd. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to point this out to Taylor. Careful of that one. It seems she's a part of uh, one of the city's assassin's guilds. Taylor's eyes just kind of go big and wide, like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then she kind of just like leans back in her chair and just kind of. So I start with my karate <laughs> kid stance right here, getting ready to sweep the leg. So, shall we essentially flip for um, for initiative? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, roll high. Lingerie. You want me to roll? Thing. Yeah. All right, I'll roll this. Uh, all right, we'll, let's roll a d20. Well, you can roll your briefly initiative on top of that, but yes. So, plus your initiative on that? So I go first, or should I? Well, what's your initiative on that? Oh, my initiative? I don't know. Here we go, I'll roll initiative just like that. There! Okay, 21. so, 21. Um, you do get to go first. Nice. Um, because <laughs> there's only one person, it's going to be just alternating. So you get to go first. Um, what is your first attack? What would you like, what are you planning on doing first? I pull out my dagger, and I try to throw it right at his right at his throat as you pull out the dagger um Ezrak, you see this first you're looking across the room to this woman and you see um her cloak fly open and she pulls a dagger herself <gasps> almost ready to almost ready to loose in a single fluid action you get you get to Make it. You have to make an action or do something before this happens. As Shireen pulls the dagger. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna shout. This isn't a weapon fight, you idiot. Shireen, would you like to stop your action? What? What? For real? No one said. All right. All right. I guess. Is this true, big fella? So of course it's true. We're not going to. We're not here oh, with weapons. It's well, a wrestling match. Well, if you would have made that clear from the beginning, we wouldn't have had the, this kind of problem. So the I lady <laughs> closes her cloak as if nothing ever happened. Yeah. Well, all right. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to defeat you the old-fashioned <laughs> way, huh? You um, ready? So I go like this. I bob and weave, and I'm. You know, I got my. I got my fists out. So what would you like to do? Punch him. Do, do an attack. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I'm going to faint first. I'm going to go and then bam. Faint first. Faint first. Yeah, because I'm a rogue style. All right, here we go. Faint first, which means I'm going to do a deception. Oh, yeah, and it succeeds. Here's my unarmed fist attack. Uh-oh. <laughs> she ducks. And I yes. lose balance. Ah, whoop. Looks like this is off to a bad start. Okay, so... Can I kick him now? <laughs> wait. Can I kick him, sir? Uh, I, I would say drawing your weapon and putting your weapon back. Wait, do too... you not have a proficiency in alarm strikes? Oh, you know, I probably I probably didn't set it right. Right? Oh, yeah, because there's supposed to be, like, a bonus. Yeah. Plus and... 10. Yeah, it's I'm also, sure that... uh, yeah, you also would have, it's finesse, so you can use your dexterity. 
Well, let's try that one again. Ezra's keen eyes. All right. <laughs> Still a fail, probably, but hey. Still a fail. As he slips under your blow, and let's see what we've got here. What's your fortitude save, please? All right. My fortitude save is 24. No. Nice. Uh, no. Oh. What's the number? Oh. The bonus. What's the number? Six. Yeah. What is it? Six. Six. So 16. Yeah. Um, so as he slips under your blow, he actually slips onto the floor, but in doing so, grabs your legs and rolls you onto the floor, and he's now on top of you. Uh, Why does this always happen on Saturday you? night? <laughs> um, as, he's, as he's grappled you up, um, and... We'll see if we can do a trip on top of that to actually pull you onto the ground because um, that's a separate thing in itself. Um, hand free, yes, yes, yes. So I'll do another attack against your reflex. What was your reflex, DC? Uh, my reflex, well, it's, see, my modifier is 20, so I guess it's my reflex. Your DC modifier is, is not 20. I'm sorry, my DC is 20. Because my modifier is 10. Okay, so it's 20. So he do, he tries to pull you onto the floor. Um, and he, so he's wrapped up your legs and he's trying to grab you, like trying to typically top you onto the floor. Um, and he fails because my DC did, is amazing. And he did try but didn't succeed yeah. this time. I, should, I will check that because it could be. Because I'm dancing around. I'm doing a little footwork. So I don't have footwork. a class. Hey, I've got a just working of numbers. Um, okay, because that's athletics. Okay, he does get you to stumble. You're off balance. Ooh. So he does get you to stumble. You almost fell over. Um, that would have been a 19 out of 20 that he got to. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> yeah, so he tries again um, to do the same manoeuvre and try to trip you. He's got you wrapped up and trying to push you onto the ground. And does not succeed. You see that if you go onto the ground, though, what awaits you is flame and fire. So I can't just jump on him. Um, he does have you grappled. Oh. Currently. Well, how do I escape this grapple and jump so, on him? So type in grapple and get to the rules. And that's what I'm okay. working on. I mean, it's probably some kind uh, I of... believe uh, the, it's acrobatics. Yeah, I think you're right. Let me double check. Trying to find... Every time I minimize it, it goes back to the start, so I keep on losing where I'm up to grapple. Uh, Which is getting really annoying. Um, So you must have at least one free hand, which you do. Um, There's no size differences. Um, You attempt to grapple an opponent with your free hand um, or attempt an athletic check against their fortitude DC. Mm. Um, You can grapple a creature... Um, you have already grabbed or restrained. Um, sorry. Yeah, you can grapple a creature you've either you've already grabbed, grabbed or restrained, even if you don't have a free hand. Um, critical success. Um, target is restrained until next turn. Um, success. Your target, your opponent, um, is a ta- success. Your opponent is target until the end of. Your tur- end of your next turn, unless you move or escape. Okay, uh, I just had a look at it. You need to uh, make use your unarmed attack modifier to escape uh, against the athletics DC of the creature grabbing you. There we go. Oh boy. Okay, so unarmed attack as an escape. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, you can use an acrobatics or athletics uh, check instead. All right, we're going to go with acrobatics. Okay. Here we go. Trying to escape the grapple. Oh, and I'm out. And I'm oh, so nice. Okay. I get a free, uh, I get a free kick. <laughs> as you escape the grapple, can I have a reflex save, please? Oh, wait. Oh, I got a natural 20. Okay. So as you escape the as you escape the grapple, um, you get a natural 20, um, and you land on the edge of the on the edge of the dais. Um, and you just so happen to land and you've got flames surrounding you. But with a natural 20, 
You don't need the reflex save and you're not getting burnt. Nice. Now I'm going to jump on top of his, 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 his neck and I'm going to squeeze the life out of him with my legs. <laughs> so that's one action of getting out. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm going to jump on top of him. So grapple. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's That'll be your athletics. athletics. This yeah. is your second action. All right. Here we go. Ooh, oh, oh, here point, here coin, here coin. Okay. Here a coin. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm, I'm gonna take this guy down. I'm gonna squeeze the life out of him. Oh, that's gotta be good. That's sixteen. Sixteen. Second action. And as he moves out of, he, it's almost as if, like, as as you try to grapple his skin, there's like, this this thin film over his body, yeah. accentuating his muscles, but making him hard to get a hold of all right so then i just kick him so this will be your third attack oh no this is not my third attack well you've done third action third action um but either way the crowd boos as you try to kick him why what's wrong with kicking what's wrong with kicking it's a wrestling match oh, this game this sucks all right <laughs> That's fine. Um, Do your worst. He tries to grab your leg, um, which misses. I mean, it's pain. <laughs> tries to um, push you into the flames. <laughs> I see. I see the strategy here. I gotta burn him. Um, what was your DC? Uh, my which one? Fortitude. Um, fortitude. This would be sixteen. Um, you go backwards and stumble. Uh, You're just on the edge anyway, and he just pushes you just enough um, to take damage from the flames. Uh, ow! Uh, Would you like to submit? He, he giggles, or so he laughs maniacally, as you take nine points of flame And I damage. say, never! How never much hit points are you on? One. I have one hit point now. Would yeah. you like to submit? Never! And I grab him and I try to choke the life out of him. Um, he has one more push. Oh, fine. Do your worst. Um, and he doesn't. He, he just gives you a gentle push to try to see, get you off the dais to get you unbalanced. Um, it's your go. All right, I'm just going to push him then toward the fire. There's fire all below us. There's fire all around you. Yeah, so I just go, I just, I just, I just back up and I get a running start as fast as I can. There's and I no, there's no running start. Over. You are right on the edge of the platform of All the right. dais. Okay, well I throw us, I, I, I like standing throw my flame. whole body at him so that if I, if, if just, just because I, I, I'm, I'm down to one hit point is do or die, so we both go over. That's and what if I you, do. And if you miss, you are going over by yourself. I'm just saying it's, that right now. Do or die. You're going over do the bar. Die. No time for surgery. I mean, if he was going to push you, you could do the whole, like, redirect his momentum thing, grab his arm, and pull him forward past you. Too true. Too true. That, that sort of, like, martial arts kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know but, if I know about stuff, but I do know how to push. So, so yeah. I'm going to push him down in the fire with my whole body. Yeah. Drain goes for the body slab. Yeah, right. Okay. So what is that? That's probably so, athletics, um, right? Or maybe it's just an unarmed attack. It's probably an unarmed attack. Um, I've got where I was. I was using grapple for that, but yes. Um, I was just using grapple, which is the for, which is the athletics first right. fortitude. Unfortunately, I'm I'm kind of limited to what stats I have for this person. I've only got a couple yeah. of things like that. Um, I'm gonna so use as a you, hero point. Would you like to use a hero point? <laughs> yep, sure would. Okay, oh, that's easy. Boy. Okay, that was terrible. Would, well, I'm not going to get to let, let you use another one. But as you push, I did say if you miss, you're going off. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's yeah. why I'd use the hero point. Um, so you as you... Another one. <laughs> you can't Thank do you that. <laughs> to Shireen, um, replacing yeah, the, right. <laughs> the current spent hero points. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering why the, the, the pop-ups are a bit different... Um, we changed the overlay for Cyberpunk and didn't change it back. 
So, <laughs> whoops. It's all right, yeah. there'll be more cyberpunk. Coming. It'll be okay. There's going to be more cyberpunk in the next few weeks, and we'll get it changed back when everything settles. Okay, so, so thank you for the for the hero point okay, um but you go off the dais over the bar and you slump i i won't give you damage um nice. but you knock nice. yourself out oh no i know you, you don't out. take one one point of um bludgeoning non-lethal, or non-lethal damage as you dive over at him trying to shove at him he just moves into voluntarily moves into the flames Oh, to get no. out of your way. He is a tiefling. Tiefling, yeah. All right. You don't mess around with a tiefling when and there's flames around. Exactly. And you fly off over the bar and you slump on the other side unconscious, knocking yourself out. <laughs> Again. God, I'm always unconscious. Um, there's a cheer that goes up um, <laughs> for the attempt. Um, and as yeah. um, Taylor... As Rick and, will as Rick, join in. As Taylor knows Rick... <laughs> Can, oh, no. can clearly see um, that the tiefling like clicks another switch and the flames just go back down to a normal, just small torch light around the, the dais. And he steps through them, over the bar, hops down, and um, you see him pour something onto Shireen, and you hear the screams of Shireen waking up um, <laughs> from, un- from being... <laughs> You've just had, you've been poured alcohol on you <laughs> to wake you up. Oh, delicious. Um, ah, yeah. It says, next time I might charge for the alcohol, but that's for the entertainment. That's a freebie on the house. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to entertain. Um, can I ask you a few questions now since we're talking? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, yet the, I'm only the bartender. This is not my court. I heard of this great hotel. I just know one name, <laughs> but I, I have you ever heard of the Dreamy Hotel? Where where is it, and how can I get there? Because I want to go. Again, <laughs> I think I think you may have bumped your head a bit much. Um, how many times have you bumped your head today? Oh, well, you know it. It's it's Saturday, so I you know it's it's gonna be at least six or seven times by now. It's Wednesday. Oopsie. Maybe more like ten then. Okay. Again, I'm only the bartender. This is not my court. I just serve the patrons in here. Perhaps you may speak to... And he just pauses and just stops. And doesn't give you who to speak to in the room. Speak to... uh, You you were about to finish your sentence? uh, No, I wasn't. I think you hit your head. How many times have you hit your head today? I, I, I don't know. I don't remember now. I, you know, it's my head. It causes it, It's important for remembering. So it gets hit so many times, I'm not going to remember. I mean, look at me. As, as, you, as you say that for the second time, um, <laughs> the, the, the bartender has, is smiling as if he got you to say it a second time. Um, <laughs> next, in front of you, a drink is slid in front, is slid over. Um, and you look to the side and there's a young lady, um, hood stretched back, um, raven black hair, pale skin. Um, she looks dangerous in a way of, um, that a person in her stature would. Um, she has a chain, um, around her neck with very fine wire, um, as if a necklace. Um, and she says, um... That's um, pretty ballsy to do what you did. Um, usually we find the um, strong men try this room, but um, didn't expect to have you try that one. I've taken down one or two strong men in my day, so I thought this was just another one. But, you know, it wasn't my day. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it is. Sometimes, sometimes it's possible to take them down, usually when they're not suspecting, though. Not um, face-to-face, surrounded by flames. When they have an affinity to those said flames, and the bartender, you can hear just that, that little giggle about that. Well, you know what I always say. I always say when someone when someone challenges you, you take that challenge, no matter how crazy it is. I say that to myself. That's either a very smart thing to do, or something that's going to cause you a very short life. We'll see the jury still on out on that one. Uh, I don't lady. think it's the first one. 
Mm. By the way, I yeah. love your outfit. I mean, I mean, we could be twins. Do you, do I, you I shop at the it's... same place I do? I doubt it. My sisters um, all share the same necklace as I do, and um, I don't okay. see that you have the same one as I do. No, 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 but that cape is great. It's great. Look at my skirt. You like it? It's, it's got right. a few um, burn marks and a few tear marks. Yeah, it's also got a little bit of a gelatinous cube on there, too, but, <laughs> you, know, you know, I haven't got to the cleaners yet. I've had an interesting night. You um, said it. Tell me about it as she... Leads you over to the corner. All right. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brutal assassin, and so I was doing some crimes down in the under underground, and ran into this cube, had to chop it up into bits, and that was great. I just got a little dirty. Then we ran into some other, you know, criminals, did a little crime then too, and now we're here. She seems when you say a brutal assassin, it, she seems to laugh that off. Um. <laughs> And, you like, from the other there. side of the room, Ezrek, you can see this. Taylor, you can see this. Um, that this person doesn't take, like, whatever, you can't hear it, but she doesn't, isn't taking what Shireen's saying with a grain of salt. But she's humouring. Um, Shireen, I don't think you noticed this. Uh, I, I, I just, not. I, I just don't think, I'm not even going to say roles here. Like, I just I'm don't think you're noticing stories. Yes, because you're such a professional. Taylor yeah, right. is going to look yeah. into Ezarek and just be like, do you reckon she's going to find out everything we need to find out from her? Is there going to be a wager? Yeah. If oh. we're lucky. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> now that we're sitting here so comfortably looking as good as we are, check it out. Look, everyone else is looking at us. Um... <laughs> She looks across the room. Like, she looks across the room and any, anyone, everyone looks down. And, unless everyone except for Ezra and Taylor, unless they want to do the same thing. Yeah. And take I'll, the hint. Yeah, I'll yeah, just yeah. be, yeah. They, like, away. you just noticed, like, even around you, everyone just looks down. And she looks yep. across the room, except for the bartender. Um, he seems to be... Mm. Um, so it's, I don't think that anyone's looking at us at all. Oh, well, you know. It's quite a private um, Sometimes room. people fear what they don't understand. Uh, so what's your name, good lady? Uh, so, my name so is good Cass. to meet you here. My name is Cass. Cass, of course. You know, you look like a Cass. My name's Sh Sharon. Sharon the warrior. Yes, I heard. The or fighter. The, the wait, mighty fighter. Like that. Though you <laughs> might have right, to change good that fighter. at some point. I'm might a mighty have to fighter, mighty fighter, but I'm I, more of an assassin. Can you tell from my cape? Well, it's a bit stylized for my liking, but it does um, have a little true. bit of a... Too um, true. It's a little commercial. Yes, yes, a little bit. Um, Some good. people call me an assassin sellout, but I only sell out because that's where the money's at. Well, money's important, but honor, discretion is also important. So true, so true, uh, uh, Cass. So, 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 Cass, I've been really wanting to go to this, uh, this hotel. It's called the Dreaming Hotel. You know of it? You know of it? It's pretty great, huh? It's great. I've heard so many great reviews on, on, on the Absalom reviews. Well, it's like four stars. I, I had a client there, um, recently, and it's a little bit of a tracking through the city. Um, to the Presbyterian quarter. I'm um, tracking for days, actually. Presbyterian. I was trying. I was just now. waiting for the right time and just following him, just seeing yeah, his habits. Yeah. Sure. He went into that, that dreaming too. place. You know what I mean? We were in the same line of work. Oh, I don't know yeah, about that, but know? he he did go into the into the dreaming place, and <laughs> they they might have a back door. They might. I don't think he saw, saw me, but someone might have because he didn't come out, and I haven't seen him since. I think they may have alerted him to. Let me ask you this question. Uh, true, true, true. You know, I mean, these marks, you know as well as I do, sometimes they, they find their way out. And, you know, you got you, you to gotta re-catch the trail. It's well, part of the job, you know? It is, a new, it is a new hotel, and I didn't know much about it, so I don't know. It's very hard to find, very hard to case a hotel which is underground. 
So I haven't been in there. Underground hotel. See, really? Uh, so, so you know, um, whereabouts is this underground hotel? I mean, I know it's underground, but where? Is there is there some place in the city that like like a landmark that we I would know? Well, it's not all or underground. Go to it. It's not all underground. But when I asked about it, um, I heard that it's built in. It's, when I did some research and asked about it through the network through my sisters, um, yeah. they um, um, they we found out that it's partially underground and um, therefore might have that back door which you spoke of. Um, yeah, and the, yeah, and yeah. I, I thought I was fine, but um, my sister's not happy that the mark has not turned up again. Um, you see, right. when you take a job, right, for sure, it's very frustrating. Very frustrating. Yeah. And now that's on me. So the mark went into the hotel and then disappeared, didn't come out. Yes, although the although I suspect the red mantis um, was also responsible. Red so it's the red mantis. That may have um, had the same mark. Oh, and I, that they I, I don't know this red mantis. Oh, uh, shit. Do you think so? Um, the, the others in the so, city. Uh, the others? You're, you're not with them, I wish. Mean, you're no, not with them, no, I it's a matter. No, as a matter of fact, when I heard you talk about the sisterhood... Ta Taylor like, you know and Nesrak, you see hands underneath the table fiddling with something. From Cass, okay. as you, she's... Talk no, no, right? from Cass. You can see yeah. a glint of steel under the table in her hands. Oh. oh. I mean, the real reason I'm talking to you here right now is because you're talking about this the, the sisterhood, and I, I'm thinking, hey, I've kind of, like, reached a certain level of professionalism in my line of work here, and I thought maybe, maybe I could join, right? I mean, I only have two jobs right now. I could use another one. I... You see, the sisterhood are very dedicated. Um, we don't allow yeah. for failure. We don't allow for other jobs. Um, it's a very yeah, dedicated very and me. focused profession. So once well, we get it, once you get known, I'm sure, it. I'm sure we'll find you. And if you get known for the opposite way. Well, let's just hope that we find you. Not, yeah. Let's just hope that we find you, and the red mantis do not. What's up with this red mantis now? You know, I've heard you say it a couple times. I don't like mantises myself. I mean, red ones sound even worse. But what's the story with the red mantis? Why should I care about the red mantis? They're the prototypical matriarchal assassin gang of the city. They've got no style, no no yeah. discretion, no ethics. No professionalism. The red mantis. Yes. Where can I, where can I find these red mantises so I could destroy them? Well, if I knew, <laughs> and if the sisterhead knew, then I would say a lot of bodies would be popping up on the streets. But then again, we don't show bodies unless we're paid to. Uh, yeah, because you're professionals. Professionals. Totally understand. Um, yes, so we don't do we I don't hold grudges. If you ever hold a grudge, then um, perhaps um, you could it's contact me and we work? can see what we can do. Oh, I see. A grudge I is see. not something so to hold. No, no, no. You can take care of that. You you yes. take care of problems. Yes. You know what? You're a good person to know. Cass, yes. Cass, I think we're going to be friends. Well, I'd hope so because um, you wouldn't want to be a client. I should say in Ma. Yeah, client maybe, right? You know, I I could have problems in the future you could solve. Yes. But Grudge is not something that, is, that should be should be held. It should be no, removed. No, no, I mean, you know, a little bit of gold can solve all those problems, I'm sure, with the right person, the right professional like yourself involved. But let me, uh, let me just ask you one more question. Say I want to go to this hotel, this dreaming hotel. What's the best way in? Okay, well, one, do I do I know exactly where it is from her description? She can, she can tell you how to get to it. All right. How do I get to this hotel? Well, and she tells you how to get to there. it. I right. don't know what's in now there. I, I didn't go in. I is was there just... A, is there a... I don't know. I don't know how... 
I don't know how to get in, well, apart from the front door, and I wasn't going to alert the person that I was following, so I just true. stayed stayed outside and waited. <laughs> but either the red red mantis got to him, or um, they smuggled him out some other ways, but um, yeah, I have not been able to find him in the city once more, I haven't been able to pick up the trail. Alright, well... I'll tell you what, when I start holding a grudge, I'll be in touch. I gotta go because I'm I'm I actually have a job like taking care of this queen over here. So I I, I gotta get back to her. I'm 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 terribly sorry. It was really great to meet you. Uh goodbye. Just just goodbye. one thing. Yeah, yeah, what's that? What's um, if I you do? do go in there, just be careful of um the concierge. Um Rolso is a he's known to have gang connections. Um it's it's why, huh? it's why I didn't go. It's why I didn't go in. Mm, um, all right. He he knows me, so I didn't want to show myself. Just, oh just... yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, that's a good tip. Good tip. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Thanks for watching. It's me, Train. I mean, Sharon. Uh, have a great day. <laughs> I'm back over here. Hey. Hey, you guys, I figured out where the hotel is. I was great. I was, you should have been there. Kayla is just like, it. ears flat. You're fired. <laughs> hey, what? What? I said if you lose, you're fired. You are oh, officially right. fired. Right, right, right. I, okay, milady, please, please give me another chance. I was trying to uh, defend your honor amongst these heathen. And you hear from around the crowd, hey, religion has nothing to do with this. <laughs> yeah. Good people, good people, please, as you were. Yeah, I I think the best case for a last chance would be to es escort the lady out of uh, these buildings as uh, this building as uh, this area isn't the nicest. Yes, so excellent idea. Yeah, we probably should be heading out time for us to be going yes you may as your final act as my servant take me home very good good lady i hope i can fall back into your favor on our way home by doing a great job as your loyal servant between the pain and the alcohol i am starting to get pretty <laughs> and the acting mm. <laughs> yeah right. so how are you going out? Are you going out the front door? Or are you going out the back? No way. Secret Let's go passage. out the front door. I don't want to go, go back out the that. front. Yeah, the front what? door. We're going to go out. We we left treasure to pick up on the way back. <laughs> oh, well. That's, I'm asking. that's gone. <laughs> well, we, wait. We, yeah, we probably should go through the back way. What For did God's we leave? Sakes. Out of character, what did we leave? Uh, Armor's gone. Yeah. Yeah, we left uh, a mace and uh, what else? No, in Bow. the session that you were gone, the mace and the armor were given to the... Only the armor was given. Oh, okay, so we have the mace. Oh, so okay. only the armor or the mace was given. I would have to check that up. But one Yeah, I remember it was given. only the armor. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So we saw... And that was like near the beginning, though. We could easily yeah. circle back. Um... No, it was actually at the back door, is where you Oh, put we them carried down. it all the way. Um, Berta is left there, uh, um, and other yeah. weapons is left at the back, at the okay. secret entrance. Okay. So are you going the secret entrance, or secret exit this time, with to collect your weapons and items, or are you just walking out the front door? Front <sighs> door. Out of, One's out of dangerous. character? Out of character, I feel like at least one of us needs to go out the front door so we have a better way of getting in next time. I'll do it. You are like at one HP. Which True. is probably why going out the front door is better for the one HP person than right, going because... back to the dangerous undercity. Through the dungeons? Yeah, I mean, I know normally you don't split the party, but I feel like in this instance... Given I have I like know. no heels left. It's a time for surgery. Time for surgery. So make the decision. Five. Four. I'm gonna yeah. do surgery on myself. Um, on front. Uh, 
Are, are you going not... to do surgery in a place where there's people everywhere and there's guards everywhere? What and if you pull do? a dagger, that's going right. to get bad looks. All right, fine. And fine. Most likely action. Fine. I'm just going to go out the front door. Don't okay. worry, everybody. Here I go. So Shireen exits the front door. The others sneak past. We don't sneak past. We go out the, go past the, um, the bar staff, Close into the kitchens, kitchens, and through the secret passages outside the storeroom, <laughs> where you collect your bits and pieces and hopefully have a decent. Well, let's count it short. You're able to carefully navigate the underground and come out in the graveyards once more. Um, oh, no, having killed pretty much everything, and at least you, you're careful around the um, the only thing you didn't kill. You might oh, the... Yeah. Uh, it should yeah. be sleeping on a full belly. It's fine. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, what's the discussion? Now, you, now, you, uh, now you're on the street. Um, is it dark or is it light time? It would have been... I feel like we would have gone towards evening because it's a speakeasy, so it was a okay. night job. Yeah. yeah. So it would probably be like so it's close evening. to midnight. Midnight, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. And so you're on the street in the darkness. Um, yeah, good district. Eastgate's a nice district. Um, where are you headed? Are you headed back uh, to Precipice Quarter, to the barracks, or elsewhere? Uh, since Daedra has a house in this district, uh, do you mind if uh, we stay the night? I I don't think walking all the way back to the precipice quarter is something I'm capable of. And, um, I think that's acceptable. I think, yep. Um, you head sure. towards Deirdre's house. Um, what's the talk on the way? What's the plan? What's the okay. What have you evolved? Do we want to talk about it on the streets or just wait? Until Fairly it? empty streets. Unlike the yeah. precipice quarter, which is really busy at night, this is quite vacant. It's well lit, but the streets are very pretty much empty. Okay, so we're all in agreement uh, that uh, this uh, dreaming whatever is uh, our uh, next, uh, our best lead. Uh, though, just to make sure, I think I will. Uh, try and uh, bring in uh, that uh, wizard's apprentice that uh, for a few questions. Ask if uh, his disappeared master went to this hotel. Oh, like if that's where he was staying. Yeah, because uh, if he did go to this uh, hotel, that would definitely put uh, more evidence that uh, uh, this place is the culprit. Oh, because, like, Shireen, you found out this information from, like, the lady, the scary kind of assassin lady. Did she mention who her mark was? See, I thought I went out the front door. I don't I... No, you can we rejoin, up. remake up. Oh, yeah. all right. Okay, hey, there was nothing out there. It's great. We can go in the front door next time. It's yeah. fine. I talked so, to the bathroom. So the front, the front door actually gets you up to um, another bar, up like another bar, and which is a more which is a legitimate bar. You come out of the secret door in the legitimate bar, and then. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a legitimate bar up there too. Yeah. It looks kind of nice. We should check it out next time. But yeah, so I know exactly where this dreaming hotel is, and I tell them where it is, and I say not only that, they had a, they had one of their. See, because I'm an assassin, I made friends with that assassin over there. She told me that when, when, when they, when she followed a mark into the hotel, that mark never came back out. I think it might have got lost, but she, she seems awfully professional. I don't think she just misses somebody. I think there's some shifty going on in that hotel. And Deirdre can add to that as well. Oh. So, Deirdre can add to that. Hold on. Um, by the way, I've got a new job or two. God, bad. Yeah. Um, and uh, didn't uh, Taylor uh, discover that uh, the, uh, a location called the Dreaming Place bought a lot of the drugs? Um, I got the name Pratchett, but I don't know if I got a name of... Uh, we have a look. Wait, so Deidre can add 
um, that one of the people that I spoke to, um, a thief, um, tried to steal. He thinks that he may have tried to steal from the dreaming place and something attacked him. Statues coming to life and attacking him. What? But he's so terrified that he thinks it was also possibly uh. a drow from something else. He has two, his, his memory is split in two. So, so, lots of uh, things are pointing to this uh, dreaming place. Yes. Hatchet is main mentioned. And you also were told that they were buying up large supplies. Yeah. That they were one of the places that had bought up large amounts of their supplies from Sharam and Hallen. Mesusla. Ah, I'll have to get that. Yeah. Ooh, I cannot do risky surgery on myself because I only have one hit point. Yep. So I'm going to do, once I have a second, I'm going to do a treat wounds on myself. Yep. Um, so that that's the things you've discovered. And as you get to the, as you get to the front door of um, Deidre's house, um, Deidre leans over to open the door. But you notice from behind that a hair is falling out. And what? that's where we're going to leave it. The hair. The Deidre's hair is falling out. And now you see it. And then I reach into my of hair. hair. Is my hair falling out? No. Phew! Deidre. <laughs> Taylor doesn't have any bald spots in her fur, does she? Because that's just really unfortunate, especially after losing three of her toe beads. This is really mean. Please yeah, don't. That's okay. but, but, that's, but that's where we're going to conclude this good. one. I said it was going to be a short one. Yep. We're going to right. finish it at that. Um, I didn't want to go too much further because then it leads into another story arc. But I wanted to have that as the cliffhanger um, as for next year. It's a shame that Kat's not able to be here. She got... No. Pulled into mm. family stuff, which happens this time of the year, which is why we have this break because that stuff happens, it just happens a little bit earlier than we expected. Um, so we will be back next year. Um, this was the last of our normal running shows. Um, this was the finale for the season, at least. Um, and we'll be back next year, probably at the start of the year in January. I'm assuming that's where things go. Um, thank you for coming in. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the donations, the follows, and everything. It means so much to us. It really, really does. It means we can put on these shows. Um, we have one more show, role-playing show, at the end of the year that is scheduled. That is on the 29th USA time, 30th um, Australian time, which is going to be my birthday stream. It's also going to be the end of years and end of days stream. We are going to bring in um, Morkborg, which is a very dark heavy metal um very very dark game um and we're going to have some fun with that um because it's pretty much fitting for the year 2020 hopefully we get um things get a bit brighter next year um i mean this is the first time i've really had a plague happen in my lifetime so yay um actually no it's not we've had SARS before and, and MERS and stuff but it's still weird it's been a weird year um so Thank you, everybody, here, yeah. um, as well as um, says Caitlin, um, for being a part of the shows this year. Um, Game Reaper, you've been here um, the longest of this group, um, yeah. coming in early last year, or early this year with the Goblins game. Yeah. I think it was um, February? Yeah, bring on then. Yeah, about January, February. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's been fun, and I hope to uh, stick around uh, for uh, longer. And hopefully, your game um, is coming. Your game is really cool next year. And you get an amazing play pool. Oh yeah! And it hits off. Yes, that should be fun. Doing the Crimson Tide. Do oh, you have a start uh, date yet? Uh, we don't have Crimson a Throne. start. Yeah, Curse of the Crimson Throne. Crimson yeah. Throne, yes. Um, so that's next year for you. Um, hopefully, we get a start date and it goes really amazingly. That'll be on the Gathering of Nerds channel. 
Um, yes. Chibi, um, have you got anything coming up? Just more art stuff and. Uh, yeah, just more art stuff. Um, on Friday, I think is going to be my last live stream for the year as well. Um, so on Thursday, I'm going to be doing my forty dollar sketch booths. So for forty five minutes, you get a forty dollar sketch, kind of thing. So if people are interested, it's a good way to get some quick character portraits done. It's done raffle style. Um, but then Friday is going to be the last live stream. So I don't know, we might do some fun, like collaborative illustrations with peeps and chat throwing out suggestions and see what kind of abomination gets created from it. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> uh, Polly, have you got anything coming up for the holidays and for anything? Uh, so it's me, Polly. You can find me at Polly People, and I'm going to keep doing my stuff probably through, I don't know, maybe, maybe there'll be days off but check it out i'll put my schedule what's well, already on on uh on on my channel page on twitch so if there's changes i'll, I'll they'll be there there'll probably be some changes or check out the discord poly people <laughs> bye-bye and <laughs> so yeah. you can find poly yeah. people at poly people you can find chibi at i cannot pronounce but but it's there <laughs> hey the carry chibi i still can't pronounce it um, I won't even try it. And Game Reaper, your, your, all your stuff is with the Gathering of the Birds um, channel as well. Yeah. Um, and for me, um, I'm going to be playing a lot of... Um, uh, uh, sorry, a lot of Cyberpunk. Um, I got told yesterday that school ends tomorrow. I was expecting Friday. So there's only going to be one more show. <laughs> and my <laughs> goblin's not here. Um, so check her out. Um, stick around, join our Discord, um, because you'll get the alerts of when we are when I am live. Um, but it's when he's here, I can't do it. I can't play games. I can't do shows. Um, as much as he loves being on YouTube, we're not on YouTube, and it's yeah, he doesn't understand. So um, thank you everybody for uh, years of support. Um, it's really really amazing for everybody all the year, and those of course here as well and in our cast. It's, it means a huge amount to me. Um, and we'll be back next year um, with more content. And don't forget, Mokbog, um, at the end of the year, I will be shaving my moustache off if we raise enough money. Um, there will be a funding goal for <laughs> shaving off my moustache. And one of the one of the actual... Um, one of the donations will be to kill off a character. So straight done, kill off a character. Um, because it's Mokbog. That's what happens. Um, <laughs> and you don't get to do that in any other game because it's really expensive. Um, so I think that's it for the year. So um, thank you, everybody. We'll have our, we'll find a raid um, and we'll have um, our normal credits roll. Um, I think that's about Ooh. everything. Um, so. Bye. Bye. Oh, of course, Rocky. Perfect timing. What's going on over here? Huh? Break it up. Stop fighting. Come on. Calm down, people. Calm down. Stop. Come on, man. Calm yourselves down. Get back in the line, people. Calm down. Things will return to normal soon. Calm down. Will you all? Please. Calm down. <laughs>